Hey guys, in today's video we are playing the Oni. Now we played a game on Dead Dog Saloon and this game went so well for us. We were able to get such early game pressure using Oni, allowing us to get our power. We completely decimated the team and we do meet a friend in there and we were able to give them the hatch. But you will see that later in the video. So let's go over the build. We are using two sets of brown add-ons. These are the um, brown add-ons I enjoy using. Uh, they're not very like OP, but this decreases the activation time and the cooldown of Blood Fury, so we can get out of it a little quicker and we can go in it a little quicker. It's not a game changer, it's just more of a way of life change that I enjoy. Uh, it increases the Blood Orb absorption speed by 4 uh, meters a second. This just allows me to absorb blood a little quicker um, than before. It's once again just a way of life change. There are many better add-ons, but this is what we are using in today's video. The perks we are running, Corrupt Intervention. This will block the free Vervis Generators, so it will stop survivors from basically gen rushing the first gen they find, but also allows only to get early game pressure by getting injures, and with injures you get 40% of your power, and you're able to get people um, bleeding, which makes them drop blood, and blood gives you your power. Uh, we get a lot of value in our early game in this, allowing us to get some very easy downs, and overall works great. We're using Brutal Strength to kick pallets um, a little quicker. The reason Brutal Strength is good is because in the early game, a lot of people want to drop these pallets against OD. Another good um, perk you can use is Sloppy Butcher, uh, wherever it is. Sloppy Butcher allows them to uh, not be able to heal as quick, so they drop even more blood. But also, um, if they stop healing, they'll have their bar regressed from the hemorrhage, and this is increased by 25 additional percent with sloppy butcher on we're using monster and abuse now if you didn't know monster and abuse is it's a very like niche perk on only because whilst you're in a chase your fov changes and your terror radio terror radius changes now we want this for the bigger terror radius because we are going to pair monster and abuse whilst we're in chase we have an eight meter increased terror radius we are going to pair this with infectious throat infectious throat whenever we get down anyone in our terror radius will scream and the location is revealed for six seconds. With Oni, this can allow you to trigger some snowballing effects. You can run between and start slugging, getting downs, getting a lot more pressure whilst you're in his power and make the most out of the power. You will see in this gameplay that we do get value from this and we're able to create more and more pressure on the survivors to ultimately get the 4K. But I hope you enjoy the video. Please leave uh, feedback in the comments and I'll get responding whenever I can. <laughs> enjoy the video, guys. Oh, dead dog. Very nice. I love how when I was thinking of barbecue, I was thinking of dead dog because it's a genuine, not genuinely small map. Uh, they're going to be spawning to our left next to Hangman, but we're going to get rid of these two windows as they're the most um, horrible. I'll get rid of one of those doors later on. We see three people at Hangman here. Four people. We see all of them. Yep. And we get some early blood there. Very nice. We want to find the Dwight that looks fun. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Get his blood. That's the person that we want, ideally, to hit. Let's get our power here. If we can get an early dumb. Getting two early down, uh, early hits as an Oni is very, very powerful. Because that has allowed us to get our blood. Where are they healing? Here they are. That's not a mistress for that, swear to God. Beautiful. And let's go over to these two. Oh, we got hit instead. Oh well, I'll take it. Beautiful. Let's get her on hook. So we have a slug and a down. That is more beneficial than um, one hook and nothing. 
We also have two injures, so they're gonna be healing, thus wasting their time even more. Oh, nice job. He didn't pull what the Yunjin did. You don't get anything from that, do you? Nope. Beautiful. Get you on a hook. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, let's get you on the hook, my dear. No, it's dear this time. So they're healing uh, under hook there, so we know there's blood under the hook for us. Unless we have an add-on or something that can stop that. You wasted a pallet, thank you. Let's get our power up and running again. They just went for the unhook, so we'll run over. Don't know whether this is the Dwight. Yep, that's Dwight. I'm not sure whether he unhooked himself in this situation. Nope. Let's get Laurie on the hook here. So ideally, we just kind of want to farm blood. And kind of get Snowball going. We're getting a lot of value out of Infectious. All those other perks that give us the value we need. Kick this door whilst we're here. Right, I know the Yunjin... Yunjin, Dwight and everything is probably going to be on main gen. Yep, exactly. We see all this blood. Very nice. We see the Dwight here. Ah, uh, that's unlucky. We did try to mess around with the Dwight there. That's unlucky for us. We missed. Go after Laura here. She's kind of out in the open. Let's get a bit of snowball. No way. We're still able to get this. Oh, that was unlucky. Let's get Laurie back on the hook. If we can get a hit on the Yunjin, that'll be lovely. Oh, great. Yeah, she's quite... She's not as confident as the rest. She falls for a lot of the easier mind games. Let's get you on the hook, my lovely. No. So far, this game's going well. We have a lot of people injured, so we can farm blood off of those. Probably shouldn't have destroyed that door as an Oni. But that is completely fine. Let's keep chasing here. He's going to take the window. And we get a hit. That gives us our power. We're going to activate Blood of Fury here. Because we know the Dwight is here. Didn't quite get that. That's unlucky on our part. We see Laurie. Get the double hit. That's fine. We'll go after the Dwight. I thought I saw Dwight healing anyway. That's fine. Destroy the pallet. Gets the pallet out of the way. And we have a cooldown. Let's pick up the Lori. And hook her. Now, we probably could have played that a little better and got a bit more blood out of Dwight, at least. But that's not too much of an issue. Flip blood here. That was a straight unhook. We're able to hit the lorry. Uh, we were going for the Dwight in that situation, but we hit lorry instead. That's fine. Chest white, see if we can get a little more blood whilst Lori um, mends upstairs. That's great. You have a pallet here. 
Beautiful. Okay, we see a lot of blood. Let's absorb all of this. Gonna go for an M1 down the Dweep. No one's nearby. Okay. All right, we want to look towards getting uh, either Lori or Yunjin out here. We'll go for Yunjin if we can. We know they're around here. Oh, this ain't going well. Not my favorite, at least. Beautiful. Right, let's get Yunjin out. They're going to be healing on the hook, so the quicker we end this, the better. We haven't hooked the Dwight yet. Um, the fancy looking Dwight, anyway. But let's get her out, at least. That gives us just a little more pressure. Gives us the upper hand as well. There's a lot of blood just all over the place. Oh, they'll probably be on this gen. Yep. I thought he would have run to the pallet. That's my fault. If I can find him, that would be great. Yeah. Get Dwight down. He was in a weaker position than the other Dwight. And we know the other Dwight is still around here in this quadrant somewhere. He's running towards this pallet. Oh, I thought I could have got him there. Where did he go? Beautiful. Alright, let's get this Dwight on the hook. And then we get the other Dwight. Just get a little bit of blood. Whilst we're here. Ah, uh, let's get you on the hook as well. That's the unhook. Very nice. Hello, hello, Yatia. You played very well, my lovely. GG's to you. Hopefully, uh, I said your name correctly. Alright, we'll go to Lori here. Just collect all the blood in the street. Lori asked if she can get hatched for her rift. Uh, what challenge does she have? Like, is it anything specific, or is it just hatch? Oh, bollocks. Shit. Ran into a wall. <laughs> uh, just escape through hatch. Okie dokie. I'll happily give her a hatch. I don't mind. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to leave you on the floor. Oh. Hello, do we? <laughs> What's up, my dude? Oh no, lovely, you're free to wiggle. Where the f- There's no way this man just disappeared. Oh, hey buddy. <laughs> Ah! Where the fuck's he gone? Hello. Yeah, in a usual situation, we'd either slug for the 4k or we would um, go for a hatch race and see who can get hatched first. However, in this situation, as Laurie does want the hatch uh, for a challenge, whether it be true or not, we don't 100% know. It could just be someone asking to try and get their friend out, but either way, we'll give Laurie Hatch. <laughs> Laurie says thank you so much anytime. You know, it, to be fair, if people come into my chat from like the game and, or someone can says, can you give my friend Hatch? As long as that teammate has been actually like doing something in the match, I will happily give them Hatch anytime. Um, 
even if it's like someone in chat saying give this person hatch so say some random person in chat says hey you know i think the meg deserves hatch you know i'll give them hatch it don't necessarily have to be from the game and thank you for the follow uh is it yatia or am i saying that completely wrong and butchering it because i feel like i'm butchering that <laughs> all right let's get a couple more blood orbs here get some points no 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 no, take the item. You can take the item if you want. Yay. <laughs> Holy shit, she fell. <laughs> uh, Liz Tia? You... Oh, I'm, I'm very bad with names, I apologise. <laughs> But GG's. Uh, let's have a look at the perks. So we have a Sprint Burst, Vigil, Self-Aware, and Adrenaline. So that's basically an infinite um, Sprint Burst build. It's very, it's a, quite a pain to go against um, if you don't really catch them off guard with it. Counterforce, Distortion, Alert, and Desperate Measures. That's interesting. Um, Counterforce, you don't see that often, but it's very good for totems. Distortion, can't see auras. Uh, the killer can't see your aura. Alert see the killer's aura <laughs> when they break stuff and desperate measures just for a little bit appealing like my house is fine <laughs> but ggs you both played really well uh laurie with left behind oh was it like escape through hatch with left behind or something like that i love you you're an icon thank you oh <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the follow hair is it okay if i call you hair hopefully it is <laughs> I don't want to be butchering it. But we have alert once again to see the killer's aura. Windows to see what pallets uh, they have available. And we have diversion to kind of trick the killer. They might have tricked me once in that match. Uh, Metal Man, Dead Hard, Off the Record and Decisive. So they've kind of got like a tanking build going on here. You don't see it that often. <laughs> but GG's to you guys. You played very, very 